Hey everybody, welcome to the Jed Says YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about Gary Chaplin's famous book that's um, just been best-selling for years and years, and it's called The Five Love Languages. So stick around, we're going to go over what that is and what the five love languages are. Real quick, like, this is, this is something, he, this brilliant man made a book out of something that could have been a pamphlet, and he just made so much money and helped so many people. So here we go. If you don't want to read the book, watch this, and we'll just cut right to the chase. The whole premise around this is that um, he, he kind of does the analogy of uh, a tank, where you fill your tank, and um, the more you fill your love tank, the more fulfilled and happier you are in a relationship. The issue that people have is that their love tanks are filled um, in different ways that the other person might not be aware of. And the different ways he likens to languages, thus the five different love languages. Um, an easy way, uh, example-wise, is if, if you don't speak Spanish, you're not going to know what I'm saying if I say te amo. You know, I could say te amo all day long. Te amo, te amo, te amo. But you are not going to understand what I'm saying if you don't speak Spanish. So I like the premise behind this. I think it's valid. Um, my wife and I actually read this book even before we were married. So um, it's, it's actually helped in our relationship. And you're like, hey, Jed, let's get to this. What, is, what are the five love, love languages? And here, here they are. So number one, receiving gifts. Um, my sister is big on this, and I know this because uh, when I say big on this, I think this is how my sister feels loved because every birthday or whatever, she will give me a gift um, because she's expressing her, her love for her brother. So here's a gift. So I'm assuming you know, that's how she feels love. Number two is acts of service. My little brother does this. He used to anyway. Um, my birthday would come along. He'd fix my car. He'd do something nice for me or make me something. And that is number two. Number three is physical touch. A lot of guys are physical touch. Um, holding hands, kissing, sex, you know. These are all ways that the guys, um, you know, women too, but I, I uh, kind of see this a lot more in guys where they feel um, more love and more appreciation and just more solid in the relationship with physical touch. Number four is words of affirmation. I kind of like this too, um, where... I love you goes a long way, uh, you know, just even but the flip side of if that is your thing, if words of affirmation are your thing, then you have to go, you know, you can, you take criticism a little more um, harshly than someone who's not words of affirmation because it's words. It means a lot. Number five and lastly is quality time. My wife is quality time and it's just the worst. I'm not going to lie. I wish hers was acts of service because I would be golden. She would always feel um, her love tank would always be full, but it's not. It's quality time, so I um, change my behaviors in a way that I give her a lot of quality time or as much as I can, and thus her love tank is full. And that is the five love languages in less than four minutes, receiving gifts, acts of service, physical touch, words of affirmation, and quality time. Do you think this has merit? I think it has merit. Let me know if your comments, if you think of anybody that might benefit from this short video, share it with them. Also, check out my blog on my website. It's www.meaningtolive.com and don't forget to subscribe. Have a good one.